Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing another divisional draft. We are going to take on the Central Division. We're going to be using Play Now, and as soon as we land on a team that is a part of the Central Division, that will be our squad for the draft. So we have the Washington Capitals as the default here. We will randomize, we get the Islanders, so we have not yet even entered the West. We end up getting the Washington Capitals again. So far, it's not working out so well. We get the Buffalo Sabres. That's still a no-go. The All-Stars also do not count. We got the Pacific, but we are looking for the Central. We got to get a team soon. I feel like we got the Metropolitan team much faster. Vancouver also does not count. Buffalo again. The Flyers. Come on now. I'm, all right, I'm just going to spam it here and see how long it takes for us to get one. What is going on? No. No. Yeah, no, no. Just a little warning here. My knowledge of the Western is, I, no, it's not there. All I really know is that Vancouver, Calgary, and Edmonton are all in the Pacific. But anyways, let's hop back to it here. Can we finally get a team, please? No, nope, that doesn't count. Also, nope. No again. Nope. No. This is taking forever here. Holy crap, finally. I feel like that took way longer than it should have, but here we are. We finally landed on a team. And it is the Canadian Central Heroes, the Winnipeg Jets. Obviously, I don't want Jabroni editing my lines. We're going to turn morale off. Fog of War is an absolute no-go for me. CPUs can trade if they ever so please. Let's go ahead and start the career here. Let's say we get pick seven. I just have a feeling that we're going to get a high up pick. And we get 14, so I was halfway there. Without a question. There is not a doubt in my mind I am taking Kale McCarr. That contract is outrageous, but I feel like he just scores a lot of goals anyway. Even though he's only 88 overall, I'm taking Patty Kane. I don't know where he's going to sign, but Kadri is still a free agent. I can't take him. I can, however, take Philip Forsberg, who was a part of the worst Washington Capitals trade ever. And I will say it every single time I see him. So we're gonna have two snipers on the first line. That is astounding. Oh, but what about Shifley? Will he still be there? I don't know if he will. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit though. He most certainly is not still here. I'm taking 84 overall, less than a milli Jake Ottinger is what I'm doing. I will also be selecting Ekholm. Actually, no, I'm taking Brodeen. He's three years younger, making a little bit less same overall. So I changed my mind. Plus he's left-handed and Kale McCarr is right-handed. Apparently Ekholm's left-handed too. I don't know why I thought he was right-handed. Our first First line centerman's gonna be Braden Shen. Not the best in the world, but he'll get the job done. I'm slightly nervous that I'm gonna leave the Coyotes out, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab Goss to spare now before that becomes true. Goligoski's only making 2 million at 83 overall, so I will be selecting him, and we have our top two defensive pairs now. We're gonna have to smarten up real quick because we are running out of cap, and it's like... We're not far into the draft whatsoever, but I'm taking Blake Wheeler. Marcus Foligno will be our next addition, and that selection will be followed up by Ryan Suter. Let's make Vigmelka our backup. 81 overall, 2.7, not the best contract in the world, but it's okay. We seriously need to find other positions because right now we are heavily dominant in the right wing category, but Mason Appleton will be the next selection for your Winnipeg Jets. We need centermen, so Lowry will be the next selection at 3.2. We still have five picks to go, and we have a total of $11 million left. What have we done here? I'm gonna be honest, I'm not even gonna try to give that name a go, but... He is a defenseman. We need one more. And now we only need forwards. The question is, what forwards will we take? Great question. I don't know. Zach Sanford, left winger, which we could use. 80 overall. Our offense is going to be not great. What players did we pick? Now I'm really confused. Are we going to be awful? I'm just going to try to get us one more good player here in Zuccarello. He is a right winger, but we could play him on the left side. He shoots left anyway. What do you mean? You're fine. Oh, I think I was wrong with how many picks we have left because we still have three. And now we have 2.2 million. So we have to be extremely disciplined here. At the moment, Jankowski's under contract with the Smashville Predators and he is making 750k. That is ideal for for us. Kevin Stenland making 750k. Yeah, I, we don't have a choice really. Anton Blid. He's a left winger. Okay. Can't say I've heard of this lad before, but he is definitely getting signed up for the squad. So basically we're going to be, what, 50k over the cap? There's not much you can really do about that, but I, I don't think you can get lower than 750k. I saw that Derek Rissard had like a 400k contract, but that must have to do with some sort of cap retention. Or maybe there's something else that I am unaware of, but once again, we drafted Ryan Suzuki. I have no idea what to expect with this team. Yeah, 
We aren't going to be good, I don't think. Our offense looks very meh, to say the least. Our first line is Shen, Forsberg, and Kane. Hopefully they can put up some points. Defensively, we got Brodine and Makar. These guys just aren't having it. I could try to move them around and get some chemistry, but it just... Oh my. Okay, we'll run with that for now. Sorry, Brodine. In net, we got Jake Ottinger and Carell. This is not going well, I can tell you immediately. I'll say Patrick Kane gets the most points with... 70 and if i had to guess how many wins the team gets i would say 40 no that's generous 38 but who knows maybe we'll be the super team that no one expected we barely started the season and calgary already yeeted their coach we're off to an okay start better than i would have expected but i still refuse to get my hopes up because all it takes is a little three game losing streak like that and we are just demolished if i left any teams out i apologize but i think i covered everybody i seriously don't know what went wrong with that draft when i looked at the roster i was like how how did i manage to get these players we are third in the division at the break so we're doing all right and as i say that we go on a four game losing streak oh we won i was gonna say five i bet don't lose this don't do really i want to try giving us some sort of shot here i don't think this will go through but i'm gonna try it anyway propose trade no all right i'm just gonna send it screw it i want to have some opportunity here trade yes okay they might accept this i know these are just getting outrageous but i like i said want to have some shot otherwise we basically know that we're not making the playoffs, and that's no fun. Whoa, that's a big trade. Since when is Patrick Kane not a sniper? When did that happen? Well, anyway, our first line is a plus five now. I'm gonna leave Brody to play with Makar, and I'll just have the dash two on the final pair here, I suppose. Yeah, I'd rather have it on the final one. Let's see if we can make some kind of miraculous comeback, or if we are just down and out. No, we're done here. It's all but over. We had a good few games after the trade deadline. I think we won three or four in a row. And then it was just collapse central. Patty Kane put up 79, so he got more than I thought he would. The Avalanche won our division with 101 points. In the entire league, Vancouver put up 104, and they won the President's Trophy. Pittsburgh did not make it at 16. Dallas did at 17. Let's see what kind of team Vancouver drafted. So they had McKinnon on the first line. I guess that's all you need to know. I don't get it. I, I actually don't get it. Patrick Kane led our team with 79. We had 67 from Tara Sancho. Forsberg put up 62. O'Reilly had 57. McCarr had 56. Jake Ottinger didn't do so hot. He had a 903 with a three flat GAA. He went 34, 34, and five. Oh man, Carell, two, seven, and one. Ranta led the league with 43 Ws. He had a 915 save percentage while doing it. We got a 921 from Anderson and a 921 from Campbell. Fox was the lead defenseman with 66 points. Then we got 63 from EK65, 62 from Hughes, 60 from OEL and Dougie. Kucherov gets the Art Ross with 91 points. So no one even really got near the 100 mark this year. Nate Mack puts up 90. Ehlers had 88. Clayton Keller had 86. Eichel had 85. Stamkos will take the Rocket Richard with 48 goals. No one hit 50. It is time to find out who wins the ultimate prize. Who will be going home with the Stanley Cup? The Seattle Kraken. To be fair, I kind of knew our team would be stinky. And of course, just to rub it in, Shifley gets 24 points in 23 playoff games. Petrangelo had 20. 21. Eichel with 24. Oh, wow. There's a bunch with 21. Trevor Moore put up 20. Ranta killed it in the playoffs. He had a 922. Carter Hart. Oh, that sounded weird. Kata Hat. There we go. That's better. Had a 930 and a triple two GAA. I think it's safe to assume that it was Florida who faced the Seattle Kraken in the finals. So that should give us all the trophies here. Yep, there we have it. Cooch gets the Art Ross. The heart goes to Nate Mack. It's normally a 1-2 here, so that's strange. Hughes gets the Norris. Cooch also gets the Lady Bing. Zegris gets the Calder. Petrangelo with the Con Smythe. Freddie Anderson gets the Vesna, And Campbell gets the Jennings. Bortuzzo gets the Bill Masterton. Wow. When Grankowski... When Grinowski, Mike Wazowski wins the Jack Adams. Drysaddle gets the Selkie. Nate Mack with the Ted Lindsay. And as we saw, Steven gets the Rocket Richard. Well, let's find out how the playoff tree went. There you have it. Not too shabby, except for the fact that both of the conference finals series were sweeps. Well, that was the central. Needless to say, the Metro went a little bit better. I'm sure there's a bunch of factors that weigh into that, though, like draft position and who drafts who, you know, availability at the time of our pick. But anyways, we will be headed back to the East to take on the Atlantic before heading out West once more for the Pacific. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Hopefully you enjoyed or were at least entertained, although we did suffer mightily. I'll see you soon.